hey, hey, hey. It's Sunday night again. <laughs> Can't get around it, right? Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Spiritual Development Academy, I was going to say, but the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on over and join me. Come in. Let's focus our energy. We have so much going on this week. There's a lot out there in the cosmos brewing. I want to talk about it. I want to bring you in. Hey, Millie. Thanks for coming in. You still in California? Come on in and join me. We had a Reiki class today. I'm really fired up. What a great class. Lots of coincidences of people knowing each other. Really fun. So come on in and join us. Take a moment. Focus your energy for the week. Share this out wherever you are. If you're seeing it now or seeing it later, share it out. We're going to focus our energy for the week. We're going to do a meditation and we're going to talk about the cards. We have a really, really intense week of energy. A lot of shifts going on and the cards are really reflecting it. Really is. We're going to move through that, cross over that line, move through that equinox energy this week, right? We have that coming up. We've got some retrograde planets. We've got the energy moving around. All right, really important that we align our energy to this and we need to do some work. I hate to tell you, but we need to do some work this week. Things are coming up big time for everybody. They really are, which is why I'm actually going to create, I'm actually creating right now as we're talking about it, I'm creating a spiritual challenge. All right, I've been talking about it. We're going to put it out there. Come on, join it. There's a link below in this that you can join to get the information, and then we're going to go over it. We're going to practice. I'm going to show up with you guys. I'm going to help you to build a spiritual practice just for you. This is what we need at this time. We're going to talk about why we even need a spiritual practice as we're building it. This is what we need. Right now, a lot of energy is going on in the cosmos. It's being stirred up. A lot of it's under the surface. That big old planet of Jupiter, that expansive planet, has gone retrograde. So it's causing us to look at some of those darker parts. Look at some of those things we keep stuffing down. That's why we're going to need the spiritual practice. That's why it's really important. I know spring's coming. We're going to run, run out and play, but we're going to go out and play with the earth. We're going to sit on the earth. We're going to ground. We're going to meditate. Very important that we do this kind of work right now. Really important. So hit the link, sign up for it. All right, come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle as well. I don't know if I posted that, but I will. And join us in that group too. I'll be coming up live every day in there and just showing you when we start the challenge. So it's a really great way to renew your practice, review your practice, or even start a brand new practice. Maybe you don't even know how. Comment below if you don't. Comment below if you've never had a spiritual practice. I'd love to know, right? I'd love to know what it does for you if you do have one. All right, I know for myself, having that spiritual practice helps me to process this energy. All right, it's intense. We all go through stuff. We really do. We all go through stuff. And if we don't have the skills and the tools to go in, boy, we just keep stuffing it. We don't want to work with it. We don't want to deal with it. So that is why, yes, we're going to build this practice together. I've got some really fun ways of doing it, of building it, of putting it all together. Really fun ways. Also, also um, with the Equinox coming in on Wednesday over at Birmingham Yoga, 6 p.m. We're going to be celebrating. We're going to have a circle. A lot of the um, Reiki masters from the uh, Spiritual Development Academy will be there with me as well. We're going to have a nice, beautiful flower grid with Sean and Laurie Z Girl Astrology is going to talk about some of this astrological aspects. I'll touch on a little bit, but she's the one that's got all the details. And then Sam is going to offer a blessing and prayer for our four-legged friends. And Susan's going to help with the spring space cleaning. And then we're going to do a crystal meditation, sound bowls, restorative pogas. And then we're all going to be offering Reiki. So it's a really great way to shift from one season into the next. Why do we need to do this? Why? Why do you think we need to do this? We need to honor. Honor Mother Earth. Honor where we are. Honor that change in seasons, right? Hey, Brooke. Love that art I saw online. That was beautiful. Yes, so we're going to be doing this Wednesday night. I'm very excited to put this out there. Come join us, 6 p.m. Sign up online. at um, You can find it on my website, naturalforcesstudio.com or birminghamyoga.com. Definitely join us because we're moving through this energy. Jupiter went retrograde right at the beginning of the month, so maybe you've already been feeling some of this energy. All right, we've also got that... that uh, New moon energy, that was this weekend, pushing us forward. And then as we move right through the equinox on Tuesday, Wednesday, we have Mercury going retrograde. Mercury's that planet that we always blame for everything, for traffic, for confusion, for delays, all right? So we have that energy too. So what does this mean for us? This really means slow down. 
We had that conversation today in the class, right? Slow down. Slow down so that you can access the energy. Slow down. I know this too. I need to do it too all the time. Slow down so that you can take the time and do some of this work. Really important that we do it. Really important. And slowing down is part of it. It really is very important. Hey, Lori, Z girl, I was just talking about you. You guys, Lori just jumped on. Talking about, actually, she's going to be on the podcast this week. I didn't mention that. I was mentioning the spring equinox. But this week on the uh, podcast, I'll try and get out there Tuesday night because it is the equinox, where Lori gives us a nice report of what is going on. Really important that we line. Here we go. I'm going to share this out. Maybe you'll do the same. Just hit the share button. That's all you have to do. Share it to your timeline. That would be super great. Let me just do that. Share now. Let me share it in the group. If you're not in the Powered Spirit Circle, come on over. We're going to be doing this challenge. We're going to start right at the beginning of April. But in the meantime, I'm going to be showing you and teaching you and telling you how to get your spiritual practice going. So be sure to come on over. There's a link there. Let me share it one more time. Here. There we go. One more time. And again, if you're watching, do me a favor. Hey, A, share it out. Just hit share. I got one more share here. Let's see. Find the group. There we go. All right. Yay. Thank you. All right. So as we were talking about, we have a lot of energy this week. A lot of it is underneath the surface. A lot of it is that reflective, that inside, that deep work of what is going on in our lives. All right. Really need to let go and really process some of this energy. Brooke says, I've been loving the Pisces new moon. I look forward to coming to Yay. All right, Brooke, can't wait to see you too. I know you'll be glad to see everybody. Definitely. Yeah, that new moon was kind of nice. It felt kind of good too, but it's kind of helping us to look at those emotional energy, that emotional body that's beneath some of what's going up. And I know for some people that can be hard, especially if you don't quite know what to do, especially if you feel stuck and you haven't been able to process the energy. It can be a little tough. It really can right now. So that's why we need to do some of this work. Get it moving, right? Move that energy forward so that you can understand and come up to a better place from where you are. It's not always easy. I agree. I admit. I know for myself, it's not always easy to do. But this is the time to do it. This is the time when the universe is asking you to do it. Look at what's going on. What can you shift? What can you change? Right? And I know for myself, the energy work is really helpful. It really helps me to just kind of move it out and move it going, right? And then look at what is going on for all of us. I think it's really important. We need to do this. That is exactly what is going on. So that's what we're going to start with, all right? We had that new moon this weekend. Now we're going to start to move to the equinox, right? And we have that equal day of equal balance. Now that time is very, very important, all right? I know if those that follow Kundalini, they talk about like that energy that comes in, that equal day, equal light. It really is a great time to really open up the pineal gland. Really, so doing some chanting. We'll be doing that Wednesday night, right? We'll be doing some work with that it's like open up, access, access the hypothalamus, open it up so the pineal gland opens so that you can then shine your light, be in that higher vibration. All right, we were talking about that today at the Reiki class. We're in the Aquarian age, no going around it. We're here. This is what it's about. Intuition is important. Vibration is important. I mean, think about it. Look at where we are in this time of year. It's the spring, just about. Look around. I know for us down here in the south, maybe in the north, you got to peek under a little snow here and there. But look at the colors coming out. Look at the way green opening the heart. Look at the way the yellows and the blues and the violets. We're starting to feel that. We're starting to bring our energy forward. So raising our vibration is part of it. So we're going to have that energy occur. It starts on Tuesday. It goes for like 24, maybe a little longer for that equinox energy, right? And then we move right on. We keep going right into the spring and we open up. And then Mercury comes in and says, okay. Going to take a little trip backwards, right? And we're going to go, whoa, what happened? Because most of us, I know myself included, I've had to pull back a little bit of my work. I've had to pull some of it back. Don't be too anxious. Don't be too excited, right? You don't have to do everything at once, all right? Hello, I'm talking to myself. Talking to you too, though. You don't have to do everything at once, right? So slow down. Really just be able to slow down. Honor. Honor your season, right? Imagine what happened from the winter, which goes back to December 21st, all the way up to now. Thank it. Show it gratitude. Let it go. And then we cross over into a whole brand new season. We face the direction of the east. All new beginnings come up. I talk about this on the podcast tomorrow or Wednesday when it airs, so check it out as well. That's what we have for this week. 
All right, A, I hope you're hearing that. Yay, definitely. Really important that we take the time to honor our life, honor our work, honor where we've been, but find that line, cross over like we do in the medicine when we walk those paths, we see that line. Make it for yourself too. Go and sit and face the east. What does that feel like? What does that feel like for you? Right? That's how we learn this. And each direction has a different feeling, has a different function, just like the seasons do. The seasons change. I mean, look at these beautiful dogwoods. All right? Those were local, right? Sean brought those in last week. Look how beautiful they still are. They're blooming. They're out there. And so we honor this part about ourselves. What part of you is blooming right now? What part of you wants to open up? Right? And when we slow down, then we can begin to really harness some of that energy. So that's how works, our week's going to be. We're going to open up to this equinox energy. We're going to feel some of that little discomfort underneath as we move through the week. We still have a little bit of that Pisces. And the sun sign moves as well. All right? Move a little bit more into that Aries energy. All right? A little bit more of that feistiness, right? That kind of thing. Really important that we open up to that energy too, right? So there is more aspects going on. Laurie talks about a lot. She'll be on Z Girl Astrology. She will be on air with me on Wednesday. I think I'll drop it. I'll see if I can drop it Tuesday night, but otherwise look for it. You can find the podcast. If you're not familiar, my surprise, I take it for granted, but if you're not familiar with podcasts, you can download it on your phone, the Apple podcast app. If you have an iPhone, if you have an um, Android they have the same thing. You just go into your app, search for your apps for a podcast. There's a podcast addict. There's Crowdcast. So many different podcasts that you can just get them on the phone. Subscribe, then you'll get them, and they'll come out as you get them. You can go through. And then also you can go back through and get other ones that maybe you didn't hear. But they're really great. I've had some fun guests. Last week we had Helen from Natural Healthy Lifestyles that talked about stress, all the factors, stress and transportation and chemicals and all those things that we put in our body and how it gets us so far off. So that was our podcast from last week and again this week coming up is with z girl astrology and i will have a, gu a guest coming up at the end of the month probably by the time it gets edited and produced in april dr jacob lieberman super happy to have him on he's a visionary scientist he works with light and he's an optometrist he was but now he works more with the light healing and healing uh, eyes naturally he lives in maui now i've been following him for a long time that'll be on there too also important that we open up to this kind of work, right? Also important. We lost a great and brilliant man last week, right? Stephen Hawkins. We really did. Hawkins. We really lost somebody that was really brilliant and helped us to open up to this. So what can you do to open up to this energy? How can you live in this vibration for yourself? Really important. And as we go through this week, again, having these tools is what is going to help you get through. All right. So let's just take a moment and just pull our energy in for the week. Take a nice deep inhale and just feel like the spiritual body is coming right in alignment with the physical body, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feel the feet on the earth. Take a nice deep inhale and just exhale away. Exhale all the running around from the previous week. Exhale out all the weekend. Not the fun stuff. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feel yourself pulling in. Pull that auric field in. Pull the vibration in towards you. Opening the heart. Inhaling. And exhaling. Find that balance. Let the heart be your center. We have three chakras above, three chakras below. Find the center of the heart for you right now. Find that center as you go through this week. That will help you align with the equinox. Inhaling. And exhaling, pulling that breath down, dropping into the heart. And on the next breath, open up from the heart. As you inhale, expand out from the heart. And as you exhale, pull it back in, send it all the way behind, lighting a little sage for all of us here. Maybe you could do the same too if you have some. Always good to clear. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel the vibration of the heart. Release the ego. Drop into the heart. As we open up, call in divine spirit, your masters. Call in your teachers. Call in your spirit guides. As we open up to this week, call in for guidance, for protection, for help, and even just understanding where are you right now. Inhaling. And exhaling. Sending that breath all the way down, deep into the earth. 
And let's just take a moment and honor, honor these last few days of the winter. Just for a moment, imagine where you were in December. Imagine the holidays, moving through the new year, coming into January, really cold here, coming into February, early spring feeling, all the many things that you bring forward with you as you move through the season, all the dreams, all the envisioning, all the wishes, all your New Year's intentions, bring all that forward as we offer gratitude for the winter, even our struggles. We don't really want to bring our struggles, but we offer gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for the lessons. And just leave them. Let them go. Leave them in the winter. Let them be buried under the snow, symbolically or literally. Inhaling. Just imagine yourself right there at the very edge, between the north and the east, between the seasons. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feel that balance for you, knowing that by Tuesday, we will make that switch in direction and bring in a new season. Inhaling one more. <sighs> exhaling away. Feel yourself grounding with the earth, centering your energy so that you can focus for your week. Coming back. Opening the eyes. As we look to the wisdom of the wild unknown, using the wild unknown, love these cards. All right, so the universal card that is for all of us, I'm going to turn that one over first, and then we're going to look at the one, two, or three. And this is what kind of what is affecting the universal card for you and what you picked. We're going to look at them all and put them all together. All right, the universal card is a perfect card for this week. Look at this. It's the six of cups. As below, as above, as below. Three, three, balance, balance, right? Perfect. So this card is really a happy card and it reminds us of the balance in our life. It reminds us to remember those roots of where we come from, the fun stuff. Like we don't always have to just hold on to the bad stuff, right? We tend to remember that the most, but what was the good stuff? What is the roots of who you are? As you move into this new season, bring that energy forward with you. That's also that creative, look at all the colors. That creative energy from underneath the earth. Bring it forward, bring it out. Now's the time when you go to plant your seeds, right? Feel that balance of energy as you move through. All right, threes, two threes, it's a six. Also represents a little bit of community energy. So maybe it is time to bring your stuff out into the community. Bring your work, bring your presence, bring your light out into the community. This is hard energy. Beautiful card, all right? Especially as we go through the equinox. Now, the other three cards, they're very interesting, and they were all reversed, which is kind of interesting, but I actually think it's kind of perfect for the energy we're moving through. A lot of energy is under the surface, all right? So a lot of what these cards say, it's not like they've surfaced, but it's like a little fear, a little worry underneath you. So if you chose one, one is the three of pentacles. Again, it's reversed, but I'm going to show it up right. So this card kind of like, it kind of points to like, oh, there's so many mountains in my way. My work, pentacles are work. Everything is so hard, right? And that might be what you're feeling underneath. And it may not actually be, but you've gotten yourself into a low resource area where it feels like everything is so hard. It feels like you'll never hit over the mountains. But this is a lot of the mind, right? And as you go through, and if you chose this card, okay, where can you release that heaviness of life? All right, where can you do that? And also too, this card reminds us to step up with community. Right? It takes a community to move stuff around sometimes. So this reminds us of that. It's one three, right? So if you drew this card, just check in with yourself. Like, okay, where am I like beneath the surface? Where am I like thinking everything is so hard right now? Like, oh, it's so hard. I can't get anything done. I'm trying so hard, so hard, right? Where can you come into? And you know what the best thing for that is? And I kind of know this because I'm talking from experience. Slow down. Replenish your energy. When we work from that low resource area, it's really hard sometimes. And I know this too. Sometimes that anticipation of the project is harder than the project, right? Like sometimes like, oh, I got to do this. I got to fix this necklace, fix this necklace. Well, if I just sit down, it'd take two minutes. But the worry sometimes of that work, that's what this card is about. Things are going okay. Look at the three, all right? Things are going okay, but you're making it a little harder than it needs to be. So if you drew that card, look for where you can. Replenish your energy. Let go of the mind, because again, the mind gets in the way and makes it sometimes harder than it really is. All right, the second card is a really beautiful card, but it is reversed again. 
All right, this is, most people love when this card shows up. This is a nine of pentacles. This is almost like that wish card, like things are happy, things are good, things are being abundant, but it's underneath the surface, all right? So that means to me, as I interpret this, it's like you're not trusting that this is going for you. You're worrying that this isn't really real. You don't believe it. Like maybe you're in a little hurdle, but really underneath it, everything is going great. All right, so again, it's some of that mind chatter that you're not trusting that things are moving exactly as they are, which really kind of does go along with this card, like, oh, got to move that mountain first. No, you don't. Just shift the mind, right? Shift that hardness in life. Replenish yourself. And the same with this too. Tap into that abundant source instead of fighting it, all right? Tap into that abundant source, all right? Very good. Now, this card is the tower. Nobody really likes this card. All right, I was doing some readings this weekend, and it was all the death card, but this card is the tower, the, but it's a, it's reversed, all right? So I sometimes find when it's reversed, it's a little better because the feeling is, is that everything is falling apart. You're so overwhelmed, everything is falling apart, but that's just underneath the surface. It's not on the outside, all right? It's not in the physical realm yet. So you could do something about this, all right? So if you drew three, again, it's kind of like that third, that this card, replenish. You're on low resources, and it may feel like everything's falling apart, and it will if you don't do anything about it. That's the beauty of the cards is that like, okay, here's your warning. Here's your warning. This is under the surface. Don't bring this in. All right, lots of times when cards are reversed, we say, what can we do to turn it around? That's not what we want to do here. We want to be aware of what is and what can, what can fall apart. I mean, sometimes we need to help some of those walls come down, right? And when we release them out, we build it back up better, which is always the good news about the tarot cards is even if it all falls down, you have the opportunity to build it back up. All right. So if that was the card you drew, where do you feel that going on for you? All right. Where maybe it's just too much energy coming forward, too much to do at once. And again, slow down. All right. We're going to feel this these next several weeks. Slow down. Do a little work. You don't have to do everything at once. All right. All right. All three cards, totally appropriate. Yes, A, more self-care. Come in. Come do an aroma Reiki. That's been the big thing lately, helping everybody move all that stuff out. Really important. So let's just take a recap. If you have questions or if you feel the same like A, let me know. So the first card for Universal of all of us is finding that balance for your own life and celebrating the heart energy, celebrating the good things in your life that created the foundation. Remember what that youth was. Remember the things you love. I always like to go back to remember college, right? What were the things in college when you could do anything and choose anything? What were those things that really fired your energy? That's always been helpful for me. Also community energy. So come to the spring equinox. Yay. Come with us, really. We're going to have fun. Then if you drew one, and just to put them all together, because they all do have a little story to tell, being that the, all three of these were reversed, Three of Pentacles is about not getting into the fear that the mountain is so hard, not getting into the fear that your work is so hard you're never getting anywhere. Turn that around for yourself, right? Get out of the mind. Trust the work is building, because it is, all right? And tap in a little bit to those around you. Don't be isolated. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is like everything is great. This is a happy card, but it's underneath the surface, so you're not trusting it, all right? Tap into that wealth. Trust it. It's okay. Sometimes we can have a little bit of bumps up and down, especially with this kind of energy before we recognize this. But don't forget this. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. This reminds me of that. Gratitude every single day. Thank you for the problems. They show me my challenge. Better than fighting it, right? And then the tower card, all right? And again, it was reversed. So when it's reversed, there may feel like everything is falling apart. All right, it's not necessarily happening that way, but you're low resourced and you need to really replenish your energy so that you don't feel so overwhelmed. You don't feel everything is falling apart. But I will suggest, kind of like that decluttering, right? Get rid of the excess energy. You don't need to carry it around, especially as we move into the new season. All right, take a nice deep inhale. Got some thumbs up. Got some people saying they agree. All right, let me know if you have any questions. And again, see the link. Let's join in that challenge. If you click on the link, you'll get the information. You can start going through it, and then I'm going to be doing it with you in the group and offering some more resources. I want you to build a spiritual practice. So important. And we'll get into why and the hows and all of that. Come on over to the group. Join in on that link, all right? All right. Hey, the tower things are changing for you, and that's okay. Just self-care is really important for you right now, especially as you make all these beautiful changes that you're going through. All right. Anybody need a card before I sign off? So check out the podcast. Come to the Spring Equinox. All right. Also, next weekend, I forgot all about it. Next weekend, we have the sound bowls for the spring. Christine and I, restorative masterclass. That'll be next Sunday. All right. Laurie wants a card. 
All right, you're welcome, Millie. See you at TEDx. That's next weekend. TEDx Birmingham. How much fun is that? I'm super excited. All day of thought leaders. I love it. All right, here you go, Miss Lori Z Girl Zelensky. You got judgment card, and it was reversed too. All right. So that's some of the work too. Like, okay, how do you turn that back around? But also too, judgment is forgiveness, right? Just forgive. Just start thanking the world for the circumstances, even if they feel hard. And let go of the judgment. Rise above it with forgiveness. That's the best thing I can offer in this card of judgment, with forgiveness, right? Turn it around, all right? All right, I know you can. All right, looking forward to anybody else? All right, guys, take a nice deep inhale. So true, Laurie says. Take a nice deep inhale. Let me know how your week goes. Click on the link. Join up for that five-day challenge. Share it with others. Share this out. Let's build this community. Let's raise a vibration for all of us as we move into a new season. All right? Find me on the air, Empowered Spirit Show. Come on over to the group and join our challenge. Super excited for it. All right, take a nice deep inhale. <sighs> Exhale out. Five-day challenge. Woohoo. All right. All right, guys, thanks again for joining me. Always a pleasure to share. Share, share, share. My love to you. Namaste to your spirit.